Hi YouTube, back with another video. I uh, thought I'd um, show you guys what I bought uh, from Silver Gold Bowl. Um, so let's start off over here. So I got the um, uh, blue monster box to put all my stuff in. I got the coin gloves that I'm wearing right now. I got a an empty tube for encapsulated coins, an empty tube for Royal Canadian Mint coins, uh, Maple Leaf coins, and an, an empty tube for Silver Eagles. <clears throat> then I got a bunch of bullion and some junk silver, some constitutional coins. <laughs> so let's start off here. I got the 2014 Canadian Maple, of course, so I have to fill up the tube. And I got five of those, so one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go back up. I got the Birds of Prey. Um, one ounce, I think it's the first in the series, yeah, and I got a Silver Eagle, got to fill up that tube too, can't go wrong with Eagles, or Maples either. <clears throat> then I got a Sunshine Minting Round. I've had my eye on this for a long time. Uh, I just really like the um, the finish on this coin. Look at that. Beautiful. Then I got a 1 ounce Noah's Ark. Very soon I'm going to pick up bigger denominations of silver. I almost have a uh, one ounce coin from every major mint, so um, I think it's time to venture into gold and stuff like that, and bigger denominations of silver. Uh, yeah, anyway, so 500 dram. This coin is really nice. I really, really like the back, or the front, I don't know, this side. <laughs> I really like this side of the coin with the um, with the birds and the uh, the coat of arms there. It's really cool. Republic of Armenia. Really cool coin. Let's go back up. I got an OPM round. I've had my eye on this for a long time too. Glad I can finally get one. Now unfortunately, um, the only... The only piece of silver that's evaded me is the Gear Sopa 1 ounce round. Um, unfortunately, silver gold bull, uh, not that anything's wrong with them, but they are just out of stock, and any other place that I want to get, that any other place that offers the, um, the Garrisop around just charges way, they charge way too much for shipping to Canada, so as a Canadian I have to, I have to deal with that. So yeah, that was the OPM round. This is the Britannia. Now, if any Canadians are watching my videos, um, uh, and you know any other places to get um, silver, gold, bullion, please leave it in the comments below, because I only know two places. And I don't know any, um, you know, small coin shops or anything like that to get any constitutional silver or um, just silver coins. So this is the uh, Libertad 2013 and then here's the Australian Ko Koala 2014. I'm not crazy about the koalas or the kooks but I really like the uh, crocodile that just came out recently. I'll be getting that next time I order. And then I got another Sunshine Minting Bar, one ounce. I got this by accident. Not to say that it's not a nice bar, it's just that I've already got one, and I was happy with one. <laughs> the premium on this is not that high, so you can't really go wrong. But I may just give my other one away, or, or sell it or something, to, uh, to one of my buddies. So that's what I picked up from Silver Gold Bullion. And I also picked up, um, oh, here's my one of my magnets. 
I also picked up a one dollar face value ah, one dollar face value bag of mercury dimes. Now I don't know anything about key dates or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure I overpaid for this. Um, I'm not sure how much one dime is worth. I think a dollar thirty or something like that U.S. Um, so that would be about a dollar forty-ish, I think, right now, Canadian. And they're selling these for eighteen. I think 1860, 18, around 1870. So I think I overpaid by a little bit, but you know, I really wanted these. Then over here, so that's everything I got from Silver Gold Bull. Okay, so over here, um, I'll explain how my uncle found out that I'm into coins later in another video, but um, he got me a a commemorative, ah, commemorative Canadian silver dollar, 1858-1958. I believe this is the uh, totem pole one. I might send this to Big Stack McGee, because <laughs> I saw his uh, Big Stack video and he said he doesn't have a totem pole one. But if this is not what he's referring to, then disregard that statement. <laughs> and I bought this on eBay. A silver piece dollar. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm overpaying, uh, overpaying for this stuff. Um, I still need to do my research and, and, and stuff like that. But it's a 1922 S, I believe. So it's really cool. And then I got this on eBay. Kennedy... Half dollar. Really cool. I need to I need to learn more about junk silver before I start buying more. But um, it's really cool. I mean, holding a piece of history like that. So anyway, that's the video. Um, I don't have anything. I have one more video planned for for later. Um, just explaining how I got into all this, why I stack and stuff like that. It'll be kind of boring. I guess it'll it'll be the beginning of just banter and ranting and chant, uh, just chat, chitter, chatter, and stuff like that. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please like, rate, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, I will be putting out more videos, I just don't know when. So, until then, thank you for watching. Bye.